Saga of Tanya the Evil is a pretty good anime. I uh, like the characters, Tanya, who is basically just evil reincarnated. In her past life, she was actually a office worker or manager in Japan. It was a, it was a dude, by the way. And uh, yeah, it, and this dude, he got reincarnated into Tanya. So yeah, he... <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I just keep saying yeah, I'm sorry, I don't know why. But he got reincarnated into Tanya. And yeah, she's pretty evil. Yeah, he's pretty evil. And pretty much, hey, well, he gets his, or she, I'm gonna say she, she gets her powers from God, but she's the devil, basically. She's, she's the devil of this world, so it's, it's pretty interesting dynamic. And her whole struggle is challenging this God, basically. This God is making her life hell, basically, and she's challenging this God to live a comfortable life, but she ain't gonna do that. It's, it's just an uphill struggle with this god. She's battling a god, basically. The forces of god. Or just the plan, she does. And another character I'll talk about is Victoria. She's an interesting side character. She's the right-hand woman of Tanya. Pretty interesting. And the story just revolves around them battling, basically in World War 1.5, but it's more focused on World War 1, and the, the Germans being the uh, protagonist. So basically, what if Germany won World War One? I, I guess you could say. And it's pretty interesting. My favorite moments are the action scenes. Like, there's one where they fight in like, this Arctic place or like, it's a sea, it's weird. It's like Arctic place. And then you got one where they fight in the Rhine, the Rhineland, that was pretty good. And uh, yeah, I'll probably put some more moments here and here, but yeah, I, I just really like this anime. Uh, You'll give it a watch if you haven't seen it yet. And, uh, this has been Gun and Deer, and I'll see you guys later.